All right, so I just landed in Memphis and my friend Tony from Bay Springs Marina is picking me up here and he's gonna give me a ride down to, to Mississippi. It's about almost a two hour drive and there's no other way to get there. So I'm really grateful for him giving me a ride all the way down there. I'm back on the boat here in New Site, Mississippi at Bay Springs Marina. And I've just gotten back and I'm unpacking all my stuff and I've got a bunch of cool new things. So I have some more stickers from Tiller and Kites and Maori Pro. I have my Arizona Yacht Club membership, um, my skipper's license. Uh, this is a, a battery pack that can charge a computer and a phone and you can also jumpstart a car so it's really powerful. <clears throat> Compass. This thing is really cool. This is a sextant, and this is how you find your latitude without a GPS. Uh, solar light, headlamp, and a solar panel. Last night, a bunch of the people here cooked food and we all celebrated New Year's, and they brought me a bunch of the leftovers today. And it doesn't look that cold. Let's see, right now it's about 25, but tonight it'll be about four below. Today is four degrees with wind chill, um, but the wind's not supposed to be too bad and it's supposed to get up to a whopping 28 degrees this morning. One compression shirt on, one log sleeve shirt, two sweatshirts, this jacket, three pairs of socks, um, two pairs of long underwear, sweatpants, ski pants, and the only thing that's going to be showing is my eyes. So, let's go. The boat still leaks, but it's so cold it turns to ice. I guess it's not all that bad. I'm here at Midway Marina in Fulton, Mississippi, and the weather continues to be frigid cold. Um, just to prove it to you, this morning I woke up and my boat is surrounded by ice. I'm actually iced in. I mean, the whole marina is frozen over. The people that work here, I talked to them, they said they've never seen it freeze over like this. And uh, it's a pretty crazy freeze right now. So my engines have been giving me trouble and I put some sea foam in the gas so I could clean out the carburetor. And my plate actually snapped off the back and the engine fell in the water. So we'll see what happens next, probably not good. At least I didn't lose the engine though. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, so since the engine broke off yesterday, I put it up in the shop and I'm gonna change out the spark plugs. Okay, good news. I changed out the spark plugs and ran some sea foam through the, through the engine and it's running at a pretty low idle. Yeah, I'm, all right, I'm with my boys. <laughs> Happy New Year. Six days late. <laughs> they hit us. They hit us hot. Check these out. These came from um, Indiana. They're all broken. I want to get them restored. But... So you send them somewhere and they yeah, they restore them. What do they charge for something like that? <laughs> I paid $175 for three of them. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. I just left Midway Marina. It's all frozen solid. So I just talked to the lockmaster, and he said that there's a barge coming through in about an hour. 
So I'm just hanging out. I'm actually stuck in ice. So I'm not gonna go anywhere. All the way up, two miles to the lock. Definitely not gonna make it there. Not until this barge comes through.